Hi, I'm Wendy Hernandez, and I'm the creator of Command the Courtroom. In this video, I want to talk to the fathers out there who are getting ready to go through a custody battle with their ex, and they want to get more time with their children, or they want to get joint custody or decision making with their child, but they're afraid that they can't do it because they haven't been the primary caretaker historically. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that it is possible, it's a realistic possibility for you to get joint custody or decision making of your child, and it's a realistic possibility for you to get parenting time with your child. You have to take certain steps to do that. The first step that you need to do is identify, if you haven't been the primary caretaker, what it is that you're going to change moving forward now that you and the other parents are no longer together. So if in the past you've traveled a lot for work and this is what's gotten in the way of you spending as much time with the children as the other parents or the mother, how are you going to modify your travel schedule so you can spend more time with the children, so you can have that equal time with your children? Is your job going to be flexible and letting you modify that schedule? How are you going to change your work hours? Is there a way that you can work a different schedule or go in earlier and get out earlier? How are you going to accommodate what it is that the kids need now that they're going through the transition? As any judge will tell you, as any expert will tell you, as kids go through this, this situation, this transition where their parents are splitting up, more than ever they need consistency and they need stability. So you have to convince the judge that you're in a position to provide that consistency and that stability, even though in the past the other parent has been the one who's picked up the lion's share of the responsibilities. So if you need to go to your job and you need to get a letter from your supervisor, you need to get a commitment from your supervisor that he or she's going to come to court and testify that you do have the flexibility you need, then you need to do what you need to do. You have to talk to the court how you're going to change things up in the future so your kids can spend the time with you that they want to spend with you and that you want them to spend with you. The second thing is, is it that you've never been the primary caretaker in the past or if you're a new father, um, maybe you could invest your time in taking some parenting classes or a daddy boot camp to show the judge that you're really interested in getting the skills that you need to give the kids the best care that they need. Now, this isn't uh, necessary for everybody. Um, some people have been fathers for quite some time before they split with the other parent, and maybe you don't need parenting classes, but especially for the new dads out there who are new dads to a newborn, they've never been fathers before, this is persuasive evidence. You're showing the judge that you're willing to do whatever it takes to be the best parent that you can, even though you've never been a parent before. So in addition to showing what the judge that what you're going to do different in the future and that you're willing to get the education and the training that you need, you need to start walking the walk immediately. Immediately when your case starts or if the relationship is falling apart before the case starts, you need to do what you need to do right away. So what does that mean? You need to start asking the other parent for more time with the children. You need to get the children on a schedule that is best for them, not that's best for your schedule or not that's best for the other parent's schedule, but you need to get the kids on the schedule that is very best for them. Um, and document your efforts at asking the other parent for more time. If you're sending texts or email messages to the other parent saying, hey, can I have the kids this weekend? Or can I have them this week? Or can I take them away on vacation? And the other parent's turning you down, by all means, save those emails. By all means, save those text messages. Start gathering your proof. Start walking the walk and, and spending as much time with the kids as you can. If your case goes on for a year and you haven't done everything um, that you could to spend as much time with the kids as possible and you're turning down offers by the other parent to spend time with them, that's going to not look very good in front of the judge. If, on the other hand, you're asking constantly to spend time with the kids and you're spending the time with the kids, that is going to help persuade the judge that you're actually going to do what it takes and do what you're saying that you want to do as far as spending more time with the children. So it's kind of a three-part formula. Um, it is showing the judge that you're willing to make the changes in your life that you need to make from whatever the past life was. It's a new life moving forward with you and your children. And you're going to do what it takes. 
to move that schedule, to change your work hours, to get help with the pickups and drop-offs. So that's step one. Step two is getting whatever training and education that you need. That involves maybe taking a class or reading a book. Um, so get the education you need. And then three, start doing it. Start spending the time with the kids. Start asking to spend time with the kids. Start showing up to those parent-teacher conferences. Start going to the soccer practices. Um, start dropping off and picking up more. Start getting involved with the pediatrician. Do it now. So just because you didn't do it in the past doesn't mean that's the end of your case. It was a different situation when you had a partner. You guys divided the responsibilities. But now each of you is going forward as single parent households. So you're going to have to change. And time is going to be more limited, but your kids are worth it. So for you fathers out there who historically haven't been the primary caretakers, there is hope. You can absolutely get joint decision making. You can get more parenting time but there's certain steps you have to take, so be sure to do it. Don't lose faith. Keep hope. Stay the course. Remember, I'm on your side when, when it matters most. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you want more information on building your best custody case, go to commandthecourtroom.com.